Building a portfolio with Fidelity Basket Portfolios is kind of like making a sandwich. It's as simple as picking your stocks and ETFs, sort of like your meats and other topics, and managing it as one big, juicy investment. Mmm, now that's pretty good. Learn more at fidelity.com slash baskets. Investing involves risk, including risk of loss. Fidelity Brokerage Services, LLC. Member NYSC SIPC. The dawn of a new season of Futurama is coming to Hulu July 29th. That's great. But I have to warn you, it's completely brilliant. The interplanetary hit is back. The very survival of Earth is at stake. Is everybody okay? Is anybody hurt? Nobody's okay. Everybody's hurt. Watch the all-new season of Futurama. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the best damn show I ever saw. July 29th, streaming only on Hulu. Welcome back to another absolute banger AFK solo episode. Today, we talk about today. We're going to do some quick life updates, excitement for the dominant Detroit Lions season brewing and other tasty, trending goodies. I'm so excited, if you can't tell, so let's go. All right, everybody, ladies and uh, let's just hop into the, you know, the health of fam again. Always love giving you guys little updates. Um, still trying to get my, you know, 10,000 steps a day in, uh, cutting out alcohol again till the, the football season. It's going well. Um, and of course, doing my best to absolutely try to st- stop eating gluten. Um, cause obviously my body doesn't handle that very well. And you know, we're, we're doing great. We're doing great down a couple. I, I could definitely already notice like a less bloating, which is awesome. Um, you know, 33 years old, dude, shit starts to stick. It's unfortunate. Gotta watch what I eat and can't be drinking and eating sweets and doing all that shit without putting in the effort to, to, you know, burn some extra calories. So, um, health's been going good. Uh, I think last time on my last show I talked about how I got them. I was going to the dermatologist to get a mole removed, um, on the, my left hip and it got removed successfully and we're just waiting for the biopsy to come back. But doc wasn't too worried about it. We've just been, um, you know, it's just preventative work at this point. So, um, you know, checkups every three, six months. Uh, if there's new moles that pop up, you know, Jess and I pretty much know every mole in my body right now, dude. Uh, so that's been good. Finally back in Illinois. We're recording this from Illinois. I don't know if you guys might notice a little difference. The, the mic might be a little bit quiet. I'm trying to talk directly into it. Um, you know, every setup's different. I don't know why. Literally using the exact same setup as I am in Florida, uh, in Illinois, and the mic is still just for some reason just a little bit quieter than normal. But uh, you know, we're doing good. Mike's good. Family's good. Visited my mom and dad yesterday. Saw my aunt Patty, who was uh, also visiting my mom's house. So that was amazing. Uh, Chris, my brother Chris, his wife Julia, their uh, my nephew Camden, their son. He's uh, 14 months old. They brought. They came over. We had a lovely dinner. Everyone's doing well. Um, you know, just finished you know, recording this immediately after finishing an eight, eight, eight and a half hour banger stream. Um, if you know, you know, if you were there, it was, it was lit, great clips. Um, just, you know, grinding Fortnite reload. So how did, I mean, I even left in the middle of, a left in the middle of the stream to take a, a nutcase call. We're just, you know, just trying to figure things out, dude. Um, just planning the future of Nutcase throughout the rest of the year. We've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, Nutcase is going to be involved in engineers a little bit. Uh, you know, we got some, we're trying to plan the next poker game um, with some, you know, celebs to, to maybe, you know, maybe um, announce some new flavors. So that's exciting. So that was great. Uh, all in all, things have just been, um, you know, we're living a vibe, just settling in. Unfortunately, again, we're back home in Illinois. Try to make a little, uh, try to make a golf appointment today. I would have hopped on the stream a little bit earlier, but the app was down. So that blows. I hope that's freaking, you know, that gets over that or gets fixed soon. Cause I'm trying to get out there and you know, bogey and triple bogey, every single hole and max holes. Let's be real here. I'm not bogeying shit, but yeah, being back home, settling in old routines. It's, it's like nine day. It takes seconds. You know what I mean? First thing Justin and I did when we got here, just, you know, did some cleaning, wiped off some stuff. Um, you know, I fired up the old PCs downstairs, came in the stream room, uh, the Rebel studio, right? That, you know, I'm no longer with Rebel, but, you know, still their studio. 
Um, he still very grateful for the, for them to build this out for me and, and Justin and our new house. Um, you know, just clean off some of the dead bugs and spiders that are just crawling around and sitting everywhere. Getting it done, dude. Getting it done. Uh, I'm mean, again immediately unpacked. Unlike me, right? Took the suitcase right upstairs. What kind of psycho am I, right? You, you just finish a travel day, and the first thing you do is unpack all of your clothes. I did, bro. I organized them too. My closet is looking mint, mint condition. Um, the Starbucks here by us actually delivers, so we don't have to go out and get it every single morning now, which is great. We can Uber Eats or DoorDash. You know, Illinois is just—it's just a vibe. Like we love our house. We love how big it is. Um, you know, we get, believe it or not, we just, we get a boatload of extra steps in just existing in this house. Cause we have so many stairs that we're just constantly going up and down stairs. If you forget something, you know, you're just getting an extra like 300 steps in it's lit weird flex. If you want to call it that, whatever dude, don't care. And one of my favorite things to do, we live on a golf course. So one of my favorite things to do, and it's a slice, our house, like on the whole, it's a slice, right? So most people, if they hit a slice, you're going to hit into our house. I got like the first thing I do when I get back, I just do a walk around my yard now, gather up all the balls, dude. I'm talking, it's like a golfer's Christmas, bro. I'm talking Kirkland's, Titleist's, uh, Pro V1's, uh, you name it. It's hitting to our yard and the balls and Jess spent a fortune built because we're, because we were a load of fences building up like a garden of trees to like block out the golfers from getting into our yard because they would just walk into our yard through, the, through our bushes uh, to look for their balls. So now they don't because it's way massive. Uh, and it's, it, you know, you really have to go out of your way to do that. So I just get to collect all the balls and I basically get to golf for free in Illinois in terms of uh, balls. So that that's, that's what it's like just settling in. You know, usually I also christen coming in by going to the Taco Bell. That's also really close to us. Um, our local TB. Uh, I, know, I know the manager there. I've given signed merch to his kids for Christmas. Um, and they know my order like the back of their hand. I mean, you know, every time I go there, it doesn't matter how many how years apart, I'll just be like, hey, a double cheese and gritty to crunch, please. Nachos through to local taco show. And they're just like, welcome back, Tyler. I'm like, thank you, dude. But again, trying to eat better. So haven't gone back to TB. But still, one of my favorite things to do. Uh, we got some new restaurants. That's another thing. When we come back to Illinois after we live in Florida for a while. Jess and I check out new restaurants. I right? check out like DoorDash. We're like, all right, what else delivers now? You know what I mean? So um, it's definitely a vibe. It's a lot more like it's a lot more relaxed. We don't have any of our friends close by. It's just it's just Jess and I. Like my family, like everyone in my family is like thirty minutes away. So it's just a lot of quality time with Jess. We just hang out. We fall asleep on the couch every night. Um, and in Florida. You know, sometimes like she's going out with the girls, I'm going out with the guys, uh, you know, we're watching some of the games together, uh, football, et cetera, baseball, whatever. So, um, we're definitely like closer in Chicago. That's, so that's the difference between Chicago and Florida life. The dawn of a new season of Futurama is coming to Hulu July 29th. That's great. But I have to warn you, it's completely brilliant. The interplanetary hit is back. The very survival of Earth is at stake. Is everybody okay? Is anybody hurt? Nobody's okay. Everybody's hurt. Watch the all-new season of Futurama. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the best damn show I ever saw. July 29th, streaming only on Hulu. It's okay if you aren't ready for kids right now. It's okay if you don't want to be a mom now or even ever. It's nobody's decision but yours. But do you know what's not okay? Not knowing how effective your birth control is. Talk to your doctor about effective birth control options so you can make an informed decision. Tap to learn more. Was it like gaming in my old setup? I love it, man. It's a vibe. Everyone loves it. The vibes are incredible today. You know, it feels like feels like Ninja's hyper. Um, the stream was lit, and uh, you know, I love it, man. The blue tint, just the all the cool nostalgia, and you know, um, collectibles that I have behind me. It's uh, it feels like home. Uh, moving on to sports. What sports am I following right now? All baseball, dude. 
it's all baseball. There's really nothing else going on. I don't really follow tennis too much. Uh, you know, I want a, I want a nice juicy bet on Shoffle, Shoffle Lily, uh, who won the one of the last PGAs or whatever. That was juicy. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just pretty much watching baseball, just waiting for football to start back up. I mean, hockey's done, basketball's done, everything's done. So, you know, just occasionally throwing down some no run first inning parlays, and that's it. Not not going too crazy. Just uh, saving up, wait for football season. And I'm super getting pumped for the Lions season. For those of you guys who don't know, I was able to talk about this now. Me, Chris, and John are heading out, I think, to Detroit for either the first preseason game or their first game. Uh, we're also going to be going to like the, I'm going to throw like the first pitch of the Detroit Tigers. I think we're going to like the Michigan game. Like it's going to be crazy. And we're going to host one of our podcasts from Detroit uh, or one of our sports show rather. So that's going to be lit. So I'm super pumped and really, really, really excited for, uh, for the football season coming up and just, you know, going over fantasy shit. I mean, if you guys want fa- fantasy nuggets, fantasy football nuggets, we're going to be giving, we're going to be giving away just juicers. Uh, my brother, Chris is really, really, really good at drafting and does and like reads books and articles and like he goes crazy uh on fantasy fantasy football so we're gonna have a lot of nuggets that we're gonna be dropping these next couple of months leading up into the football season oh we got some new stuff dude let's just get into it bro i show speed following along have i been following along with i show speed's massive european tour i mean absolutely uh yeah i've been watching all the crazy clips dude you know, Speed's an absolute monster. He's an absolute legend for doing something like that. Basically telling people where he's going and and being in public, being in the public eye, uh, being as big as he is. You know, 27 million subscribers on YouTube and climbing. Uh, he's an absolute unit. And to travel around there, uh, letting people know where you're going and like streaming it, like I can't imagine the stress it probably took on him. And uh, I want to give a huge shout out to his uh, security team and his staff for protecting him because... Um, without his security doing that and, and really just, you know, being aware and watching over him, like speed would not have been able to do that at all. Right. He would have been mobbed. I mean, he was mobbed, right. Even though he had security. So huge shout out to, to speed security and the team that took care of him, making sure he was safe traveling across the, uh, traveling across his European tour. It was lit and speed. You're, uh, you know, even though you leaked my discord, I still love you, dude. I mean, we can we, we dabble a little bit on some politics, man. We're talking about some, um, you know, some big boy things. I think that it's uh it's it's quite simple really. These are um well one thing's quite simple, right? The the, the Trump shooting. Um and like Biden's health apparently declining. I mean Kamala stepping in. I mean it's crazy right now. The, the United States is crazy, the world's crazy. And I just want to say this. Like, if there's anyone out there that wanted this man to, you know, this our former president to be shot, like there's something wrong with you. You know what I mean? No one deserves to die. No one deserves to especially a president, like it's just there, and there are some people trying to justify it. It's horrible. Um, it's horrible. Like, I mean, I don't wish Biden, you know, I'm not the biggest Biden fan, mainly because he's been, you know, his mental capacity has been deteriorating for the last eight years. But like, I don't want him dead. I don't want Biden hurt at all. I want him healthy. I want him, ha- I mean, I feel bad for the guy, right? Being f- what feels like forced to continue out his term these last four years. Dude's struggling. Anyone with a brain can realize that he's not coherent. It's just shocking, man. Like, mainstream media paul like how the hell can you like watch him walk upstairs and watch him just give a speech and ramble on and and not just be and and not just see it for what it is you know what i mean like alarming it's not a it's not a good look it's not a strong look and one of the things that's super important if you're in a position of power especially the president of the united states the free world dude is like you have to be strong you have to come you have to look strong and uh yeah man my my prayers go out to, to Biden. I hope he feel I hope he gets better. Um, feels well. God help us with Kamala. By you know, uh, let's hope we're unburdened by what has been, is what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, let's not uh, let's not condone ever any violence whatsoever on either side. Sorry, right? we got to find guys. We got to find a way to meet in the middle. That's what it's all about, man. These far left, far right Dems, Republicans. At the end of the day, the only way that we're ever going to I feel like move forward is meeting in the middle. You got to reach across the aisle, dude. You got to reach across the aisle. Jess and I are very much in the middle of a lot of, a lot of different, you know, political things. And at the end of the day, you just, you have to be able to have a conversation with people without everyone losing their fucking mind. And that's what happens, dude. Like people are losing their fucking minds on, on, you know, on both sides. At the end of the day, if you can't have a conversation, a healthy conversation without talking over one another and like, you're just never going to get anything done. And that's what it feels like. It feels like it's a, it feels like little kids, you know what I mean? Arguing at a, at a playground. It's embarrassing. And uh, we have to be able to have conversations um, and talk about issues without getting heated and, you know, screaming and losing our minds. So 
that's all I got to say, guys. Uh, everybody love everybody. And just, you know, vote. Be smart. Good luck. Have fun. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, apparently, there's some Assassin's Creed outrage going on. People are upset that there's a black samurai as the protagonist because it's not historically accurate. If not, I mean, should wokeness be implemented into video games slash storytelling? I mean, I've been saying this forever. First off, what I mean, what if there is a black samurai? Can we prove that there's never been a black samurai in the history of the world? That's number one. Maybe the answer is no. There, there never has been. And in that case, if they're doing it just to just to do it, yeah, like I hate wokeness, bro. It's one of my least favorite things ever. Like, it's how you ruin. It's how you ruin video games. It's how you ruin movies. It's how you ruin TV shows. Just shoving agenda down your throat. Like I'm all for inclusiveness, always. Like. But, you know, it has to make sense. But personally, for me, like, Black Samurai, I don't give a fuck, dude. I couldn't care less. I think it's dope. But, again, yeah, wokeness, wokeness, you know what I mean? Just throwing down um, agendas in the, you know, in movies and, and, like, getting rid of the plot. Like, the agenda is the plot. Like, that's never a good movie. And I feel like that's where we're at. So many movies and shows. I'm trying to escape, right? I'm trying to escape. I'm not trying to watch a show to be inclusive. And, and like, to have... A show tell me what's okay you know what i mean like i don't know i don't know man that's how i feel about it personally black samurai go for it i imagine that in the history of the world there's a black samurai at some point right i mean can't you be a samurai now i'm sure that i'm sure there's a black samurai out there that's all i'm saying dude i think there's worse examples The dawn of a new season of Futurama is coming to Hulu July 29th. That's great. But I have to warn you, it's completely brilliant. The interplanetary hit is back. The very survival of Earth is at stake. Is everybody okay? Is anybody hurt? Nobody's okay. Everybody's hurt. Watch the all-new season of Futurama. That's the best damn show I ever saw. July 29th, streaming only on Hulu. It's okay if you aren't ready for kids right now. It's okay if you don't want to be a mom now or even ever. It's nobody's decision but yours. But do you know what's not okay? Not knowing how effective your birth control is. Talk to your doctor about effective birth control options so you can make an informed decision. Tap to learn more. We're going AFK with Ninja. What's he gonna say? All right, random questions, dude. What is uh, what are some of the most unusual or surprising places I've ever visited, and what made it so memorable? Got nothing, bro. An unusual or surprising pl- surprise. Blackpool, London. Uh, what made it memorable? I went to a gay gay club when I was eighteen. It was lit. And that's the end of that story. If I could live in any fictional universe, which one would you choose? And what would you do there? You know, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. And I would pray to God that I spawned in as a Super Saiyan or a Saiyan. That's what I do. What seemingly trivial decision you made that, that has had a profound impact on your life? Uh, getting in the car, uh, getting in my best friend's car and driving to Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Or uh, Focus Fire, Wisconsin. Lacrosse, Wisconsin, to compete in the Focus Fire Halo tournament with my buddy uh, Aaron Boschkowitz. Because if I didn't leave my house and get in the car and drive there, I wouldn't have met Jess. Seemingly trivial decision. Most important decision of my life. What is the most bizarre or funny thing that's happened to me during a live stream or gaming session? Jesus, dude. You know, Jess bringing me a, a a sandwich in the middle of my League of Legends game after I got a double kill bot lane as an AD carry when I didn't even ask for it. Brawless. That's got to be it, dude. It's got to be the best thing that's ever had maybe during a live stream or gaming session. AMA, don't care. Uh, and it's not particularly close. Uh, what is the weirdest food combination I enjoy that others might find strange? I mean, I like dipping my fries in a shake, but I don't really have any weird food combinations. Jess does, dude. Jess puts ketchup on her eggs. She puts ketchup on everything. So give her shit for that forever. Final question. If I was given unlimited resources to start my dream project, what would it be and why? Man, I have no aspirations right now of a, of a dream project. I don't have a dream project, personally. If I, if I did, 
gun to my head, it would be to create one of the most unique and interesting MMOs in the world. Develop one of the best MMOs ever with the most unique combat system. That isn't just people just spamming abilities for, you know, infinite years and never running out of HP and mana. It's definitely it. All right. Thank you so much for joining us on this thrilling episode of AFK with Ninja. Be sure to like, share, follow for more epic content. And until next time, keep on gaming. Summer is always full of fun. And this summer, FanDuel has something for every baseball fan every day to make it even funner. Is that a word? It is now. All customers get a boost or a bonus every day, all summer long, only on FanDuel, America's number one sports book. 21 plus and present in Iowa. Opt-in required. Wager requirements apply. Bonus is awarded as non-withdrawable bonus bets or profit boost tokens. Restrictions apply, including bonus expiration. See terms and conditions at FanDuel.com slash sportsbook. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-BETS-OFF. It's okay if you aren't ready for kids right now. It's okay if you don't want to be a mom now or even ever. It's nobody's decision but yours. But do you know what's not okay? Not knowing how effective your birth control is. Talk to your doctor about effective birth control options so you can make an informed decision. Tap to learn more.